Hi there, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you fragrances that um, are easy reaches for me. So if I don't know what I want to wear, but I want to smell good during the day, these are the fragrances I gravitate towards. I don't have to think about them and I feel confident that if I put it on, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to enjoy wearing it. Uh, they're just never fail fragrances. So before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. We are a fantastic bunch and you need to be a part of it. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first easy reach uh, that I want to talk about today is Trisardi's Donna. Now, first of all, I love this bottle with so much of my being. I love the color of the bottle. I love the detailing of the gold cap and the sides. To me, this bottle epitomizes class and luxury. I just love it. I just I, I just love it. White and gold, gorgeous. Now, and the other thing is, is it kind of looks like it looks like a, a, a little flask. And I don't know what it is about flasks, like, like little liquor flasks, but I've always been fascinated with them because I feel like they feel so smooth in the hand. So on to the fragrance. Now this one, um, the it has a beautiful kind of um, fresh, fruity citrus opening. It has lemon, yuzu, and fruity notes in the opening. And I definitely get that delicious kind of mouth-watering lemon, but paired with the fruity notes, it's kind of a sweeter lemon, so it's not super tart. It doesn't smell like citrus as in a cleaning product citrus. It just smells like a sweet, delicious kind of lemony fragrance. I find it extremely refreshing. And um, one of you commented and said that Tresardi Donna was like a freshie for non-freshie lovers. And I would have to agree. If you're not a major freshie lover, so a lot of people gravitate towards light blue or light blue intense by Dolce & Gabbana. They get tons of compliments from it. It's a major hit for them. Uh, for me, the dry down just smells weird on me. It just doesn't work for my skin chem chemistry. And overall, I'm not a huge fan of freshies. This, however, gives me that fresh feeling, that kind of energized uh, feeling from the lemon. So it smells sunshiny. It n instantly feels invigorating, uh, but it doesn't smell like your typical freshie. So I love the opening. Then it has jasmine, African orange flower, and lotus in the in the mid, and vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar in the base. So this gives you some of that floral. It definitely has a little bit of a white floral vibe, but I don't find it overly uh, like headache inducing or anything like that. Some people find that they get the florals more. I get the lemon more. Um, I feel like it stays pretty linear throughout the whole entire wear of the fragrance. Um, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Lasts a long time on the skin. Uber classy, uber feminine. Uh, I love wearing this, especially in the spring and summer, but really you can wear it all year round. And the thing about an everyday fragrance is really, it's kind of like a signature scent. So it's something that you can wear anytime for any occasion. This is one of them. Now, I'm sure you guys are a little bit sick of me mentioning this, but I just can't get enough, enough of it. And it definitely is an easy reach for me. And that is Nina Ricci's Lextas. So this um, it, it's so freaking amazing. Like I cannot get enough of it. Basically you're getting raspberry, rose, and some caramel in there. There's other notes, uh, but that's primarily what I get. It smells sensual yet feminine yet appropriate for the daytime. So, you know, I just always think of a woman, she's got kind of longer kind of flowing hair, or she's just really comfortable in her own skin, but she's uber feminine and she's slightly like just comes across kind of soft yet sensual. That's the feel that I get from this fragrance. So whenever I want to feel kind of uh, like cozy, uh, comforted, sensual, feminine, mysterious. I'm going to pull out this one. So this one's great. Like it, it's just, it's something that works during the day, during the night. Love it. I, I, I just love this fragrance. Like love, love it. It's so crazy because I decluttered it. I decluttered it, people. 
And yet now I can't get enough of it. And I'm sorry I keep mentioning it, but I love what I love and I got to tell you about it. Now, if I want something uber cozy, like if it's really cold, the fragrance that I gravitate towards is Lyra by uh, Zerzhoff. Now, I just recently got this. Uh, I had a sample. I was using the Okta version until I got this. Um, it smells like a smoky lemon pound cake. I've said it before. There's lots of different notes in here. No, no lemon. I think there's orange. There's lavender in here. I think there's licorice. But to me, whatever they do, whatever kind of sorcery goes on in this fragrance, it ends up smelling like cake to me. Like a lemon poppy seed cake or pound cake. Like the, the lemon cake from Starbucks kind of gives me that vibe. Like I feel like I'm wearing that cake when I put this on. So that may not seem like an easy reach to some, but whenever I want something cozy, this isn't like so crazy in your face gourmand that it's going to be like, why do you smell like dessert? Uh, but it's just luscious and it, it feels comforting and cozy to me. And yet it's still sophisticated. So if you want to smell like a classy, sophisticated lemon pound cake, you got to try out Lyra. Like it's so, so good. Uh, but yeah, like whenever I'm in that mood, especially if the weather's colder, this is one fragrance I'd reach for. Now, uh, another easy reach for me, like literally I put it on, I feel amazing all day, is Ellie Saab Le Parfum Royal. Now, I talk about this one a lot, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I don't know if people just don't like this. Uh, or what it is, but I am so in love with this. I feel like this is a major departure uh, from the Elie Saab Le Parfum, Le Parfum in white. Uh, those are those white florals, very airy, very classy, sophisticated, but super white florals. This is more of a Middle Eastern feel. So it's got the rose, it's got some woodiness, there's orange in this, there's patchouli. A lot of people get a lot of patchouli from this. I notice the patchouli as more of a spiciness. I think it's so incredibly delicious. Like I smell it and my mouth starts watering. So the first thing I get is this big, juicy, ripe, mouth-watering orange. Um, so, so gorgeous. But not just the orange, I'm getting the, the orange rind too. So it'd be like if you pluck an orange off the tree and you open it up and the juices are just flowing, that's the kind of orange that I get. And then a delicious, very vibrant, in your face red rose but it's like the rose with that orange it's so jammy and sticky and amazing like I just love it and then it feels like there's spices in this now it really does feel like there's some sort of spiciness going on in here and I think it must just be the patchouli whatever it is I I love it I feel like a freaking uh, battle queen when I put this on. Like when I put this on, I feel like I can take on anything. So like as far as an easy reach, if I'm going out that I like, I want to feel powerful and confident, this is, this is the one I reach for. I love the way I smell in it. I love smelling this. So it projects really good. I have this amazing scent bubble and I just think I smell amazing all day and it's super long lasting. So I love this fragrance. I don't know why I never hear about it. Maybe people talk about it all the time. You guys tell me, you guys, like, are you hearing about this one? Do you have it? If you have it or if you've tried it, weigh in in the comments and, and say what you think. I know some people find the patchouli way too heavy in this. I find this to be a sweet orange rose spicy fragrance that smells so freaking luscious. I just can't get enough of it. Last fragrance that I feel is perfect, like as an easy reach everyday fragrance, and that is Edole Nectar. Like, first of all, this always gets me a compliment. It's sweet, it's feminine. Like, I can't wait to wear this in the spring more. Like, I've been wearing it in the winter, but um, you know how Lex Das, I can't stop talking about it. Um, I have a feeling that this will be my spring easy reach, whereas Lex Das has been my winter easy reach. There's three different kinds of rose in this. It, it comes across to me almost like peony. Uh, so it's very, very sweet. And the thing is, is that you really do have to try this on the skin because 
um, when you smell it on the cap or if you just put it on your skin to begin with or smell it on a card, you're smelling more of that E-Dole uh, DNA, which is very nice, but it's like, it's just okay, right? But then as this dries down, you all of a sudden get popcorn and vanilla and caramel coming out. I really get the popcorn in this one. Uh, so I really, really enjoy that. Not everybody does, but I definitely get a lot of popcorn in this in the dry down. So to me, it's just really fun to wear, but it smells amazing. And every time I wear it, I get a compliment. Like if someone comes in for a hug, I get a compliment. Like it just smells amazing. And the scent bubble with this one, fantastic and then the longevity is fantastic on this as well actually the longevity on all of these is uh way above average like six plus hours uh for some like you're looking at 10 hours all of them are uh fantastic performers so those are my easy reaches those are the ones that if i uh what should i wear i want to smell good I pull out one of these and usually with a fragrance there's a bit of a mood uh, a mood attached to it if I'm feeling kind of grumpy or if I'm feeling a little bit down and want to feel cozy I'd put on Lyra if I want to feel sensual I'd put on Lextas if I want to smell juicy and vivacious I put on Edol Nectar if I want to smell classy put together and energized, I'd put on Donna. And if I want to smell like a freaking powerful queen, I'd put on Ellie Saab, uh, Le Parfum Royal. Any of them make you smell phenomenal. So that's my list. What about you? What are your easy reaches? Please leave them in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.